with each programme in this series, we're going to be transmitting some data of particular interest to owners of home micro. Man. Okay. Promise I wasn't just watching that because it's cool. I mean, that is that is kind of. I was just balancing audio. It's always a good trick and a pretty classy way to start a stream. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cyber Sunday. That's the official uh, my official theme song of Cyber Sunday. Uh, Cyber Sunday is an institution that until now has been largely dominated by uh, cyberpunk or me just not streaming on Sunday. So here we are with a game that's not cyberpunk. Uh, although, <laughs> I am going to go back to cyberpunk pretty soon. There's mods now. Most of them are for titties. So, as usual, uh, if you don't want dong or vag, you're only dealing with about 20% of the actual mod volume. <laughs> so there's some stuff to play with, but what is cyber boy? it's mostly all titties. Medium fabric right here about cyber boy all of dharma systems together or rather that's what it used to be now it's just remnants slivers of a greater whole cyber void uh what headphones do i use these are sennheiser hd 58 x's and i like them a lot uh i dented them the other day though i accidentally shoved like a seed <laughs> into the grill of the side it was just like on the pad of my thumb and then I grabbed my headphones. So I was like banging it on my desk trying to knock this stupid food particle out of my headphones and ended up denting the, the like grill on the side just a smidge. Let's see if I can catch it in the light. Yeah, okay. There you go. You can kind of see it. Yeah. So that's gross. Yeah. It's like the, I was banging it on my mouse pad too. I was like, I don't want to dent it. And then I did. But you know what? They still, they still feel... Still feel great, still sound great. Uh, and it's just like a really light, comfortable, good quality, just analog headphone. And that's what I've been, uh, I've been, I've been passing audio around, audio around just through analog cord lately. Minus, uh, minus buzz, it's actually the most efficient, highest quality solution I've found. Yeah, Sennheiser's been like, it's been the, if you don't want to research a lot and have a bit of a budget, uh, the brand to go to, I feel like, for a while. For audio files. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I've just heard- I've heard multiple people- It's like, oh yeah, right, it's a puzzle. And I've already solved it, somehow. It's kind of like, um... It's the, uh, it's the old-fashioned of uh of headphones like it's still good but you know it's kind of like most people know it's good so they just kind of go for it sometimes they're great they last for so long yeah this is your domain but i do all the work i told you i can't work from your side there's a barrier between us a divide that shouldn't be there and believe me i'm doing my part just don't happen to see it. Bose and Sign are great for noise canceling? 
I don't, I don't, I typically don't like noise canceling headphones. Then again, I haven't been in uh, too many positions where uh, it would be necessary. If I, uh, if I flew a lot more, I'd probably be into that. But uh, that doesn't happen. Okay. Audio Technicas are good for mixing? Okay. It pretty much has to be in this configuration, I feel like. How would that ever not be like that? What keeps- something keeps whooshing back here. What's going on? Ah! There's so many cyber whoosh! I'm trying to concentrate on puzzles. Uh, did Bonesy die? No, Bonesy is still alive! Oh, that's right. There's something about, like, if they're connected, they rotate. That's how you can, like, adjust them independently or something? Is that how that works? That is how that works. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. After smashing buttons, uh, like a child too many times, I think I've got it kind of figured out now. Okay. There's a fair amount of cyber, yeah. Running MX or M40X at the moment. Ordered the 58X to get a good open back experience. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, the open back is really, really nice. That's one of the things I like about it a lot. All um, done. You saved the day. It's very now comfortable. I feel like I can still matters. hear things going on in the room. Thank you, Jack. The people of Sector Five owe you their lives. Um, bit of a bit of an I'm unexpected problem. You. If you have them turned up loud, it actually can bleed over into a mic pretty easily. Your luck. You were buried in a scrap heap at the bottom of a derelict shaft. You fell a long way, didn't you? Feels like it. I gotta jump. Oh. This game's about running, you know it is. Also, uh, I saw Austin. Thank you for the resub. You're having a good day. Just had a nice dinner. You're playing Danganronpa, so can't bug you about that. Huh? I not yet. I still got to go back and finish the adventures of Hot Dog and Fallout New Vegas. Yes, I. Those are all true things. You're right. I'm trying to remember. Oh shit! What's the? What's the um? How do you run? <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's right. There it is. Nope, that's not it. Is it just auto run? I think it is. It's just auto run, right? And then dash. I could have spent like two seconds learning how to play this game again, but I didn't. I didn't. I refuse. Team needs more fingerless gloves. Uh oh. Hip! I'm not gonna argue. You're right. Played the first two out of this, then stopped for some reason. That's basically where I was. So I am. Uh, I'm picking it up from about, from about two hours in. In chance, most other missing ghost runners were located by Mara and destroyed. Most. A few are still unaccounted for. There it is. Okay. Uh, do you have spe speakers or studio monitors set up? Um, I have speakers. Yeah. I I kind of use them when I'm just doing like desk work or something like that, but. But Steph works out of the home, too, and I don't want to, like, add too much to, like, just general noise. If I can help it. So I end up using my headphones most of the time, I think. I really wish you'd been there when they came for us. What? I thought I'd done this room. Key oh. surprised us at the hideout. Kicked down the door out of nowhere. Then we ran. I got separated. Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's good to give your ears a break from headphones sometimes. Yeah, it's that's basically it for me. It's like a comfort thing. Sometimes it feels better to have the headphones, sometimes it doesn't. 
And it's nice to be able to share things. Watch the Lawnmower Man director's cut of... Wait, you can slide? That's right, I can slide. What does sliding do, though? I don't need to slide yet. I don't think. Oh. Fan, no fan! Sliding is a speedrun strat? Ah, uh, there are times where they make you slide. You gotta, like, go through vents and stuff. Waist-high openings. Oh, yeah. And I gotta keep looking at that mini-map in case there's, like, pick up -ables. How does the game master maintain control? She turns us against each other. The guard recruits the most brutal and reckless facers and feels game war between the rest. And conquer. I guess more oh. of a trick or two oh. by watching me over the years. I got lucky. Huh? Huh? Cool. I'm a ninja. Hey, Bordy Ballant. What's up? Welcome. Uh, Cyber Fisherman, thank you for the sub. When you're watching the People's Gamer beat video games? Yeah. Guess what? I'm gonna beat another one. Wait a minute. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Hoo. Oh. Hmm. I enjoy the Buddhist terms in this game. Dharma, Mara, all that jazz. Hmm. I don't think I even picked up on that. But that oh, that's kind of cool. That's sick. You're that ninja. Hurt me more, snake. Are there goodies up there? Bet there's a goodie up there. Yeah, I'm What kind of... Oh, come on. Come on, ninja! I mean, there's no... There's nothing on the mini-map. Alright, cool. Well, there's some cool graffiti. That's something. Oh, yeah. I also... Uh, it looks pretty loud. I adjusted the gain on my mic a little bit. I, thought, I think I've been a little bit hot. Been a little bit hot, a little toasty lately. So I'm uh I dropped the gain and I, I crouched up on the mic. Ah, that's right, okay, so slide. Zip. Keys are boarding the elevators to the city. Man, that I feels wish cool. they'd all just go away and never come back. Whoops. Can't hit those red lines volume wise. I don't mind a little a little bit of red. Red doesn't necessarily mean blown out, um, but I know what you mean. Oh, that's right, you gotta wait for them to reload, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah! I forgot what their deal is. You have to, like, they jump at you and you have to air counter them or something? Oh, whatever, he's dead now, who cares? You played I Ninja on the GameCube. Uh, no, I did not play that one. The guys you're fighting are the rear guard. I remember having to alphabetize that at GameStop though. On once they've gone. Yeah, right. Um, sure. It's almost scary how little they can do to stop you. Yeah, I'm pretty cool, huh? They <laughs> are. Oh. That was poorly timed. That was very poorly timed. Possibly the worst possible timing to pick that up. Throw a bit crusher on the master channel. I mean, I my audio mastering is usually pretty raunchy. It's usually just everything funneled, ugh, everything funneled into a um, a master channel that has like a hard limiter on it. So it's not ideal, but. Wait, Brawly. Oh, sorry. I got distracted. Geralt, thank you for the sub. Oh, Brawly, you have a, a degree in digital audio. Well, then maybe I don't want to hit those red lines. Is this, uh... Share with me the your the knowledge of the ancients. Oh! Why did I... Why did I come down here? Oh, so I can get this. Am I, uh... 
Is my is my mic mix too hot? Too hot? Ah oh, frick. Ah oh, frick. Oh. Alright then. God, please tell me the one magic trick to set up a mic. Yeah. <laughs> Just check the good button. Who are you at? Probably was schooling me on how to not have to resort to headphones for streaming. Oh, I man. Like, to actually find a way to, to cancel the, uh... Shit. Um... To, like, play natural audio and have it not pick up on a mic. I feel like audio must be the hardest part of Twitch that you can't hear with a quick turnaround. Yeah. Your video preview and that helps with visual issues, but audio must be very different. Um... They both have their quirks. There, there are ways that a, a video preview can lie to you too, um, and be and be its own little problem. But I agree. I think for the most part. Berg. Audio's actually gotten a bit easier. I feel like I haven't had to worry about sync in forever. But that's mostly because I think I've. Like, a lot of capture components have, have been upgraded and stuff, so they're not quite as, uh... God damn it. I thought the cycle would be different for some reason. Well, hold on. I'll actually... Oh. This might work. There we go. I just wonder how safe we are. I... <laughs> I worry that the key master will send in more uh, hey Dr. Sinwar. Welcome. Later Hope everything's back. Was sync an issue back at Funhouse? Oh yeah. Big time. Big time. Um, that was like... I would say that was a good 30% of a lot of the edits that I did in the early days was resyncing capture. Because, I mean, specifically, I mean, during the during the early days when they would play, like, full-screen games, uh, it would change the output. And whenever the capture hardware or even the on-computer on hardware would, uh, it would have to resync. And so there'd be, like, in some recording situations, it would just drop all that time from the time code. So you'd synchronize, and then every time the display changed, you'd lose, like, five seconds or something like that, and you'd have to resync it again. Um... Then, then, there's the other issue of, like, they would use shadow play, but shadow play is variable frame rate. So it would slip in and out of sync all the time, based on whether or not it had frames in the file. So yeah, real pain in the ass. Um, there were times where I had to, uh, I, I remember in the, in, this is when we were at Machinima, um, they had a framed poster behind the gameplay station, and I had to look at the reflection of the monitor in the poster frame to figure out what they were looking at and then resync based on that. So yeah. Ah, oh, I miss so many artifacts. Dang, that's that's depressing, but whatever. Whatever. Then just get it done. Uh it's gotten better. Somebody asked how it's gotten better. Um, capture hardware has gotten faster and and more synchronized. Um, there's not a lot of capture hardware now that adds substantial amounts of lag to the to what gets uh, baked into the stream. So it used to be that if you put your your webcam on top of gameplay capture, for one, you had no idea if your webcam video and audio from whatever source you were getting it from would be synchronized. They usually wouldn't. So you'd have to synchronize those two and find out they're offset from each other, and then. Uh, you had to figure out what lag was uh, being brought in from your capture hardware and how much of it was there. And it could change based on the hardware, based on the... Um, the resolution, like, it was just a... It was a crazy jungle every time. Yep. Cool. Oh, you all meaty. Look at all that meat. Sound is cool. I agree. But now, um, now I just pipe all of my audio into a, a line input on my streaming PC. I just throw the webcam on top. I actually feed video through, uh, through HDMI. And somehow it's all just synced by default. 
I didn't have to adjust anything. Uh, and that is rare. That's not- it's not the way things used to be. Shit! Fuck you! There was, like, a box or something. Dang. Yeah, the one, two, three claps. Yeah, clap sinking. Shplorp. Damn, it feels good to just murder dudes. Feels so good. Is this game worth it? Looks dope. I would say so. Yeah, this game's great. Oh, I see an I see an artifact. A ninja artifact. Okay. Item acquired. Money lost its value once the gates of the tower closed. Economy reverted to barter. As time went by, various token currencies were introduced. Funnily enough, credit cards became one such token. Oh. Cyber void uplink. Dang. Keep forgetting about the, like, skill and build aspect of the game. I'll have to poke at that in a minute. By stopping this machine, it should come to you naturally. Heck. Interesting. Hack. Yeah. Unhack. Hack. Unhack. Hack. <laughs> Sick move. Bark. It seems like you have to, like, jump in there and then... Unhack it when you're wall running. So it'll keep spinning, but it... Hmm. The section they want me to land in seems really small. Maybe I'm not... Hold on. Maybe I run on the, this side of it? Maybe I don't run on... Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. These okay. motors were made with the chips in mind. The base engineers were able to control them with their thoughts. Like you did just now. Jump on the not red part, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Burp. Burp. <laughs> Damn. You have to get to Amina Station fast. We can't give Mara time to prepare. Berg. That's cool, man. That's a fun mechanic. Ooh! What you can do to stop us. Shit. It's not about what you can do to stop us. It's about what you can do to everyone. It's about what you can do to everyone okay. else. Okay. In the meantime, you can you can look at the not part of the disc people, and hit you? the button. I kept thinking you had to actually like target the body of it. All right, that helps a lot because then you can do things like that. And not like that though. There we go. Okay. Shit. Burr. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, that feels sick. Yeah, when you hack too much. Uh, over hacking. Nose coming in, or blood coming out of your nose. We should know what their latest plan is soon. First try, that's right. Mm. I just spilled water on my shirt. I'm a ninja. I don't know why I do that a lot. Just misjudge the depth of a cup. And I end up spilling on myself like a goddamn toddler. Damn it. Fuck. I often find myself accidentally, like, sliding into really uncomfortable positions. And once I'm kind of out of, out of the loop, out of the flow of it, it's it really hard to adjust. Oh, 
climbers wanted to take over the elevator and move up to the city. Keys caught us halfway through our preparations. Why did they attack today? Oh yeah. Okay. Valheim server with friends just reached day 409. What? My god. Nice. Keymaster must have somehow. How many gods are you down? Or about you. I see an artifact. <gasps> New sword. Oh, that's cool. I'm fun with Ghost Runner? Yes, Candles, I am. Just started it recently. Yeah, I wouldn't say that I'm, uh, I'm like super far in it myself. I'm still getting murdered like a, a, a putz. A ding dong putz. Yeah. That's not good. I'm gonna mantle. Yep. Jeez. That was sloppy. Uh, so was this. Did you watch any of the Blizzard stuff? No. Nothing about it seemed particularly interesting, I guess. Um, I, I should look at the... I did see some of the Diablo 2 remastered footage. Um, I actually heard tons of good things about Overwatch 2. So... I'm excited to see that, because I... I did not get any notion of what they were actually going for when they announced Overwatch 2. So if Overwatch 2 looks like they stepped up their game, good. That means the years spent since they announced it actually went somewhere, instead of... Falling into a weird void with no game in it. This blizzard on the stream where Metallica was streaming and got muted. Yeah, they covered it up with like uh, copyright friendly uh, replacement or filler music, which is pretty dystopian. I don't know why they wouldn't just cut the stream or something. Whatever. Hopefully, some good PVE in Overwatch 2. I hope so too. We'll see. I don't. What? I have to... Oh! Is it, like, timed? It appears to be timed. Hmm. PB looked... Very good, based on what they showed at the press conference. Okay. Yeah, maybe I... Maybe I need to... Give that a little look-see. I want it to be good. I like Overwatch. I liked Overwatch. Um... I could see... I could see an Overwatch 2 thing working. A PvE thing working. Fuck. I hit my stupid... That's what I was looking for. Just didn't see it, slash couldn't find it. What the fuck was that? That was weird. Camera just kind of turned around. Down the retreat. We could use the climber's help right about now. It Too bad they like the character design. Time to yeah. For their cause. I saw some of the re redesigns of some of the characters. I was like, okay. They cared for their families. Looks like I a good skin. For their species. It's a matter of perspective, I suppose. Oh, Mystios, by the way. Uh, thank you for the resub. Good evening, sir. Almost half a year. Still saving up for one of them cards. Almost 70k. Nice, nice. Hope you've been good catching up on your VODs while doing DIY at mine, my fella's first home. Ooh! Big adulting has been happening this past year. Yeah! I mean, we're spending every- we're spending a lot of time indoors, might as well brush it up, make it nice. That's cool, though. And that sounds- that sounds pretty cozy. That's kind of how I use stream VODs, too, for other people, is just some- you know, just a little- little- little background friendliness. Wah! Tried to reinstall Diablo 2 from the three collectors edition USB stick, but it asked me for a CD key. What the hell is that? Uh, your Diablo 2 edition or your Diablo 3 probably came with like a key. Um, 
if, uh, I think I registered my Diablo 2 shit with Battle.net, so There's my no my key is still on my profile, thank god. But I guess that's not a problem. But yeah, Diablo 2 is not the friendliest game to try to play these days. Which, amazing news, wonderful news, beautiful, I mean, I gotta pause for this, beautiful news! I actually got, uh, I got Star Wars Jar Jar's Journey working. Um, I had to, ch I had to install a different version of Windows, install a different display driver, install a different audio driver, um, and, and, the only way it works is if I play it before the Windows logon sound stops playing. Because the second the boot sound stops playing, all sound stops working, and I don't know why. But, uh, as long as I launch it, like within the first couple of seconds, all good, baby. So that's, whatever, stumbled across the finish line, it's fine. Uh, I checked with a YouTube video to like make sure that all the sound was playing in it, and it does, so. Yeah, nobody remembers, uh, I even kind of forgot the Windows 98, uh, 98 days. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. If I had, if I had like booted Windows to start with, with that particular audio driver, it would probably work properly. I, uh, and I think I need to just, I need to completely uninstall DirectX and reinstall it. I think that's probably part of the problem. Because I, when I test sound through the DirectX dialog thing, this is all ancient Windows fucking troubleshooting, but it does, it does like, it doesn't play and then it locks up. So that's not good. There's something wrong with the, uh, the interface between DirectX and the audio drivers, but. On the Windows 98 days, man, I would have already reinstalled Windows. And in fact, I did a couple of times just through virtual boxes. So, <laughs> uh, but I do remember pretty definitively back in the golden days, the second anything went wrong with the PC, it was time to just start over because there's no coming back. Shit, man. Maybe I need to take care of that dude first. Yeah, that'll- that'll do. I'll try to mess with their transmissions. Confuse them a little. You can do that. I'm no computer genius, but their system begs to be- Yeah, the good old days of reinstalling your whole OS being the first suggestion as opposed to the last resort. It was often the most time- time effective way to get back to a functioning computer. They're not mandatory anymore, but most people have them. Especially people with limb implants. Burp. Especially people with limb implants, like me. Especially people with limb implants. Done. They just received orders to... Done. They just received orders to stop boarding the elevators. Stand by. This will buy you enough time to get there. Man, I'm bad. <laughs> this will buy you enough time to get there. Right. Just a big stupid ninja. Flipping and flopping and smacking into things. No! Okay. Okay, yep. We're fine. Everything's fine. Shit. See, this is a very cool ninja. It's flipping and flopping and slipping. God damn it, shit ass butt! Ow! Burning his feet on the little cyber cyber ledge. Little ninja feet getting all getting all singed up. Poor little ninja guy. There we go. Ah, who? Don't kill me. Ah, ah, just, shit. <laughs> oh, this game's sick. Now we're doing it. Oh, I bet there's an artifact around here. Oh, maybe not. This, come on, this is prime artifact placement. Jeez. Look up. What is it? Ooh. Ooh. There's a cyber sky up there. Neat. Let's get episodes of fucking great. Oh, thank you, Nick. I am glad you enjoyed it. Yes. New inside games. I've updated my. I've updated my bot. Getting there. Hours. You could climb all the way to the city. That would require even more time. Derg. So if you want, you can use the command IG in chat to listen to a chronicle of Game Stonk. God damn it. I 
There we go. It was, uh... It was a lot of writing. A lot of, a lot of research and a lot of googling. Cool. Keys also have these brain chips? Yes. Everyone born before the coup. Why? Can they be hacked? I... No, I don't think so. Not by her. Yarp. Yep. Yeah. Oop. Yep. Arg. Missed. A lot of information I hadn't heard in that video. Yes, yes, yes. That that was kind of my goal, is to provide a more like, you know, little. It's a little masturbatory to say, but like journalistic view of the story, just uh, events, dates, and times, with a loose description of how, how they connect to each other, but without a ton of the editorialization. You know, trying trying to make it less of like a a moral issue and more of here's what happened, and let's like let's look at what what occurred from it. Um, it's funny because I. There was a, there were, I'm expecting more of this as time goes on, but what I found is, on YouTube, with the way YouTubers present inform, well, with the way everyone presents, uh, information these days, the whole, like, the whole blurred line between opinion and fact, is that people will disagree with your narrative. They don't disagree with your facts, but they say you didn't report it right because it didn't, it didn't present a certain enjoyable narrative. And it's weird that people, like, say that without understanding how truly terrible that commentary is. And, like, you didn't... You didn't alter the story for it to be entertaining enough, is typically... What is... What is not said, but what is meant. And that's like, ugh. Alright, well... What's the, what's extra frustrating sometimes is when people are like, Here, this person did it better. And it's like, well, they made it more entertaining, but I don't know that they, they did it better. But hey, man. That's YouTube. I'm practicing my, uh, I'm practicing my, my inner clarity and my calm to not feel the need to, like, correct anything. You know, anyone can go down to the YouTube comments and say whatever they want. I gotta embrace that shit. It's not a question of, like, somebody, like, being inaccurate or, or misinterpreting the work. That's gonna happen. And, uh, I certainly can't prevent or, uh, correct or provide commentary on all of those scenarios, so I just gotta, gotta let the reins go. Whoa, that was sick! Burp! <laughs> Damn! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That was cool as hell. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Damn, that's so ninja-like. Oh. Oh. The last elevator is reaching the upper station. Better jump right in. Nah, dude. No! Ah. Yeah, that's one of those times when, like, just getting a little bit off makes it a little wild. Wait for the cooldown. I'm excited to see more of Inside Games. I'm excited to do more. There's a lot of potential there. Depending. I don't know. Bruce and I are going to talk. Oops. Ah, shucks. Uh, pretty soon about what... What we want it to be and, and if we want it to scale and how we want it to scale and all that. All that jazz! Damn it! Okay, you gotta... It's the... You have to hit them in order of how far they are away so they all land at the same time. Got it. Uh, Firefly, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the ninja command reminding me what it's all about. What it's done for. What I do it for. What every gamer does it for every day. Uh, I gotta use the restroom. I'll be right back. Kill her for us. Sorry to interrupt the drifting bus. I know that's always a surprise and a delight. Ha, hoo, ha, hoo, he, hoo. A ninja with an empty bladder is a much more effective ninja. Am I going into the cyber void again? Yeah. Cyber void time dilation works in your favor, but you still don't have forever. The elevators will soon be beyond our reach. Cyber void. Cyber void. 
Cyber Void. I don't understand. Let me into the Cyber Void dimension. Or maybe it's just a... Yep, okay. That's cool. Oh, okay, so there's gonna be, like, platforms that you can only see through archways and stuff. This is some pretty old-school video game shit. Face fake walls? I'm into it. I'm into it. Oh, yeah, y'all. Oh, I'm in here now. Did I remind you that the clock is ticking? Hurry it up. You said time was dilated, you dork. You ding-dong dork. Those firewalls are what's kept me alive for the last 20 years. Oh, I can't dash. Eh? Oh, eh. Huh? Oh, no, that's just stuff. Wait it. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, this is some... <sighs> this is some, some deep video game business happening right here. I'm into it. I'm into it. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot it's actually called the Cyber Void. Yeah, I wasn't making that up. I think I'd make up something unimportant. Okay, so it's... Two, three squares up. Okay. This is a cool way to do this. Two, three square. And then... To give you the, the markers on the floor to count it out. That's neat. I like that. Is this the witness? The cybersness. Cheer up. If you were a regular human, this would make even less sense. I don't know why I thought that was gonna do something. Uh, what's up, werewolf? Is that that? Yeah, there you are. This is the witness. It's the cybersness. Witness cybers. Uh, United House Sunday treated me pretty well. Pretty well. I've had a pretty productive day this morning. Um, made a thumbnail, made the thumbnail for Inside Games, which, you know, it was pretty light touch, but I like, I'm a big fan of, uh, of meme permutation emails, or, uh, thumbnails. I, I think they're like, they're kind of easy to make, they're widely recognizable, they're kind of funny. Um, ooh. We got keys now, okay. Um, so, that's fun. It's fun to be in the thumbnail business again. Uh, the ones I make for my own channel are, are pretty low, t like, pretty quick turnaround. Because, uh, my YouTube channel is not meant to be, like, premiere, uh, a premiere viewing experience. Ooh! Uh, wrote a newsletter. Um, ate some fish. Kind of getting my diet back on track after Valentine's Day. The fallout from Valentine's Day. <clears throat> um, yeah. Oh, it's timed? Oh, never mind. It was a scripted scripted drop into a digipoo hole. That's what my butthole looks like after eating some cyber Tabasco. Looks like there's a little something extra in the elevator's security scanner buffer. A little something. A partial ghost runner neural scan. We can use it to enhance your programming. Why is it there? That was One weird. Of you must have used Amida elevator right before Morrow's insurgents disabled the internal security. Another ghost runner. It could have been you. Another ninja! Oh, it's me. The only thing a ninja fears is himself. Ninja trusts nobody. Firefly says I got six nugs and a four piece today. It's an omen that this week is gonna be amazing for us all. There is no there is no uh sign that the gods are in your favor than a couple of free nuggets. I had some pretty some pretty smash out nuggets last night too. If I'm not if I don't mind saying so myself, Stephanie ordered Shake Shack and ordered some extra nuggets that she didn't want, so I ate them. Wait a minute. like a fake wall somewhere this is cool oh yeah um it's uh it's sponsored stream day so I'm, I'm firmly i'm putting two hands on that bag and yanking it I'm gonna be playing raid shadow legends later but there's actually a game there and i'm pretty good at it so i'll show you i'll show you the secret hidden extra meme life behind meme game i could not get high enough level to enter the doom tower 
So I apologize about that. Um, you gotta be level 40 for the Doom Tower. But yeah, I'm getting that raid bread. I'm grabbing it. If I can turn uh, raid sellout streams into dollars that I can pay editors with, that's a pretty good trade. I sold out finally. No, I've done raid before. <laughs> I'm pretty... This is like a, this is like a Mario 64. I should play that goofy like doodly 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 doodly. Oh, okay. I just had to give up. Let that be a lesson to you all. Actually, unironically, yeah, if you're bashing your head against something, sometimes going back, like just starting over, can help. Like like installing Windows 98 uh, over and over until it plays sound for more than 30 seconds on boot. Focus energy in your left hand and then let it all out. 30 is all I need, what? though. Don't try to think. Do it. <laughs> See, you know, thanks for the sub. Just gonna try to lurk for a bit, working? All right. I will, I will be the calming and motivating background buzz to make you as productive as possible on this fine day. Tempest! All right. Yes. It's, it's the pocket sand ability. Ha! It's I... just a visualization anyway. How does it work in the real world? Rapid micro vibrations of your inner hydraulics. Sudden change in local pressure will result in a concentrated blast. Let's hope that piece of junk the climbers use to replace your arm can handle it. This doesn't seem like a great ability. Why, if... Maybe, okay, maybe it's good against, like, armored enemies or something, because, like, if I'm... If I'm within Tempest... If I'm, if I'm within Pocket Sand range, why wouldn't I just c click the mouse and kill them with a sword, you know? I'm one of the few people you could actually imagine playing Raid without a sponsorship. I have played it on my phone outside of... The primary application was crowd control. I mean, you can do that... Okay. Of course, Groups of enemies that aren't in a line. To restrain ourselves now. Uh, but no, it's... it's a, I, I like those kinds of games. It is a strike force. It is a galaxy of heroes. It, uh... It's just kind of like the ultimate edition of a JRPG. I'm seeing numbers go up. Or it reminds me a lot of Disgaea. A game where it has like recursive progression mechanics. One There's something very, very cozy about that. Tempest to reflect projectiles. Same with like uh try. auto clickers and stuff, match threes to some degree. Like that. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Little Peepo, thank you very much for the sub. Aw, thank you. I'm a match three person, that's for sure. Ah, I've been playing, uh... I've been playing Project Makeover on my phone a lot lately. It's a solid match three. It, it is Candy Crush, though. Whoa! It's got a few few different rule permutations from Candy Crush, but it's basically Candy Crush. Exquisite. Which is fine, because Candy Crush is pretty good. Ha! Huh. Splendid. I liked it anyway. This game just ma one the, This game just makes me crave a Katana Zero sequel. Man, this game makes me well, want to play through Katana Zero. I haven't played it yet. What benefits do you gain from someone playing off your raid promo code? Ah, Despacito. They, I'm glad you asked. Because they are, like, totally upfront about this. So, or they're totally upfront with me, so I can be totally upfront with you. Um, it is a... I get money no matter what for, for carrying the sponsorship. Um, but I do get more money based on how many people um, click through my link and play to level 10. Um, it's basically like a pay-per-conversion kind of thing. Up to, I think, like, 80 or 80 people or so, which I'm probably not going to get. Um, but that's fine. You know, whatever. Money is money. And, uh, I actually kind of like raids, so that's the idea. It, it is a game that will suck you in if you like progression mechanics, so bit of a warning there. Uh, if, if you find yourself susceptible to that kind of thing. Uh, it's got a lot of it, and it's pretty good about it. Uh, quite a shame to say I've been attempting to play Honey Pop 2. It's way harder than Honey Pop 1 was, both in difficulty and also my ability to just laugh at how dumb it is. Does does it take itself more seriously or something? Is it just creepier? <laughs> Sometimes that can happen. Where it's like, something can have a really fun attitude and, and just like a super fun spirit. But then like a sequel kind of loses that feeling? I don't know. Uh, I was, it's even dumber? Oh, okay, great. Beautiful. It's so weird. Hmm. It takes itself zero seriously, but it is way creepier as well. You got me... Man, I'm fascinated now. 
Is it just like, well, you know what, whatever, I'll play it, I'll find out, I'll find out. Why can't I, oh wait, these, this is like op open area, yeah. Let me, let me look, let me look over this stuff again, let me see what I got. I definitely want collectibles, so that's just, that's in for good. <sighs> kind of downloading with your link right now and getting to level 10, well thank you very much! I, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I should say exactly what my rate is, because that's, you know, Typically, you like to keep that kind of stuff discreet, but that's the idea. Do you get paid on the CTR on, or is, pay, is it paper install? Um, no, it's just it's just people that install through the link and play to level ten. Those are the only things that count. Uh, so, but I, I definitely appreciate anyone who wants to to throw a little mobile gaming time that way, because yeah, it, it does turn directly into money, um, and I'm excited to. Or rather, I, I have a lot of things I can spend money on these days. Not not for me. Not for me. I want to make that clear. But, uh, yeah. That's just like... It's just part of it. Hmm. I think I actually had a pretty good setup already. I don't know what else I want. I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, you can't do that while it's there. What's a Cyber Void Uplink bonus? I don't think I quite understand what that is. Yeah, Balzat. This is not, I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten raid money before. We're good. The keys are gone and the elevators are ours. Time to go up. Our next target lies in the heart of Dharma City. I was happily reminded with all these ads that being by being in this chat, you can say you're playing Honey Pop and get a bunch of Me Too's. <laughs> I haven't I haven't gotten to it yet. Um. Oh, I'm actually I'm actually Crush Crush is kind of sticking in my head. My original plan was to do a stream that was like half Crush Crush, half Raid. Uh, go back and forth between like anime auto clicker and uh, and raid shadow legends, but uh, we are. It's Cyber Sunday. I don't want to play this game, so that's not a very interesting story. I just really want to play Crush Crush again. Ooh. There's so many girls to unlock and hold hands with. That would have been a good spot for Tempest. It's fairly loot, yeah. You can hold hands horny style. Shh, that was dumb. That was also dumb. Crush Crush you broke free of. Idle clickers give you an existential crisis, yeah. That whole, like, the whole reason you never look at your playtime in an MMO. Like, what am I doing? What is it to be alive? Do I want anything in life? Am I just a, a tangle of, of neurons that like seeing numbers go up? Ow! Damn. You ever go back and play more Sonic Adventure 2? Yes. Yeah, I I have a lot of unfinished business with my good friend Sonic the Hedgehog, don't I? I still have to play Sonic Boom, colon, The Rise of Lyric on the Wii U. The Wii U video game console. Shit! That guy's got me multiple times in a row now. Alright. I'm stuck to the wall. Damn. Am I a fan of Sonic games? I respect Sonic. Um, I have adopted Sonic. Sonic is my is my high energy son. He inspires me. Uh, he inspires me to uh, to live and love more every day. But he's a challenge, you know. He's a challenge. 
unless they're being escorted to the city. Prisoners? Yes. Men, women, children. Their only crime? Getting caught. Where are they taken? I'm not sure, but no one ever comes back. We have love, though. That's important. Hmm. I saw that trophy over there. But yeah, the um, I've I've realized I've I have started a lot of Sonic games, but I finished very few of them, and I've played very few Sonic games enough to sort of understand their spirit. So yeah, in that respect, I do need to get back to Sonic Adventure Two, Sonic Boom: The Rise of Lyric. That they are some pretty great like B games. Actually, that would be a good, good, good candidate for THC Tuesday. Oh. It occurred to me, I don't need to be here forever to make sure everything happens according to plan. I mean, I do, but not in person. Well, in person, but not in the flesh. We're in the middle of our Ghost Runner project. Work needed to restructure and optimize the human brain we've already done is colossal. Why not use it? The means to extract data is there. The only thing missing is an artificial neural network capable of processing it. True, no one has ever succeeded in designing one. But then again, I've never tried. I do. I did buy like a Sega Genesis and a copy of Sonic the Hedgehog. My goal was what I wanted to do with like classic games. It's kind of uh, as an as a stupid indulgence. Like, oh shit. Um. Like um, that was crazy. Oh damn. Interesting. Huh. Uh, but to basically, like, buy buy classic games on physical and then just, like, arr, sign them and send them away. Or give them away once I beat them. That feels, that feels fun. I like mailing physical things to people. Man. Oh, shit! Hurt. That's crazy. The elevators were rarely used, even before Mara's revolt. Residents of the base had most of their needs fulfilled right here. Woo! Clank. Oh, that was a rush. Can't say you're right until you make at least one Sonic OC. You're right. I haven't made a single a single Sonic OC yet. I don't belong on I don't belong on the internet. <clears throat> I dig still having the physical stuff. I hate this mostly digital age of non ownership. Wait, there's something coming. It's yeah, I know how you feel. I I, I kind of miss it too, but at the same time. You know, it is part of that existential existential nightmare thing. Even if you have like a whole stack of games, um, I guess I guess I hit a point where I was like, this the the sense of satisfaction I feel staring at my shelf of games is is largely illusionary. Um, I can't remember what shattered it. I think it was just like the eighth time that I moved and had to dedicate like a couple of boxes to all the cases. Um, I was just like, uh, I don't know, I don't know that I, I don't, I've never been much of a collector, though, I'll, I'll say that. Uh, I feel, for some reason, if I look at a shelf, and I behold the completeness of the items on it, something in me tells me to not like that feeling because it's, like, pointless and hollow. I don't know why. That's one of those things that trips my, yeah, existential dread alarm, I guess. Really, moving really makes you go, why the fuck do I have so much shit? Kind of, yeah. 
get the same effect from my stream Steam library. Yeah, and I have to admit, like, good old games client does a really good job, but holy shit, this rules. This is troublesome. I like that readout back there. First, you should get on top. A giant LED display. You could probably cut it down. Awesome. Without the supporting core. Oh, sick. No. All right. Okay. I had oh, dead already. Emergency mode activated. Nerb! Jesus Christ, so good. Laser tower. I still remember deployment while I was in the army. The internet was garbage and it could take upwards of a week to download something like Cyberpunk, whereas people with consoles would be able to play it right away. Emergency yeah, I'm, I'm speaking from the perspective of having a really fast internet connection that's super reliable, so... That's a really good point. If I were going somewhere, I would probably take my Switch over anything else because I can just cram a ton of, like, playable, reliable games on a nice, compact, self-contained unit. There's, like, nothing to fail. Speaking of, damn it, I gotta look up uh, Sony's warranty policies because my, uh... My dual sense is all, all fucked. What makes it so hollow? I don't know. I can't really comment on, you know, exist... And a universal level. For me, I guess I just have a weird... I don't know. I have I have weird automatic behaviors that have been, I don't know, as far as I can tell, they've just... It's either just how I am or some combination of childhood events that I don't fully remember um, shape certain behavior patterns. And I think that's one of them. Um, I guess my, my parents were extraordinarily frugal. So, oh. so maybe there's something about the ostentatiousness or the uh, the the sentiment about deriving pleasure from owning like mass-produced physical goods. It's it's just it's a weird feeling to me. It's, it's something that my brain ca just rebels against. Maybe it's part of the like counterculture in me too of just like I'm not going to ah I'm not going to de derive my life value from what I buy and own in this world. Maybe there was some teen, like, teen movie that I saw that, that told me that I need to believe in myself and not, not fancy belongings or some shit. Arg. I don't know, I thought about it. It doesn't hurt much. I, I feel like it's largely a positive, a positive benefit in my life. There haven't been a whole lot of times where I wish I had stacks and stacks of physical goods and didn't. Um, if anything, I, I am kind of glad that I... That's a weird thing to try to get over. Um, I don't like... I also don't really like cluttered living spaces or cluttered storage spaces. Uh, that's... that's definitely something that's just sort of... in... in my brain chemistry somewhere. I just can't stand going to, like, a, a cabinet and trying to pull something out and then having a million things... crap. A million things fall out with it or have things stacked on other things, stacked on other things, shoved behind things. Pretty Spartan about that. Berg. Yeah, this is hectic. That's cool though. Dang. That's a weird thing to get over. Oh, do you go under it? That makes sense. I feel like I got over it a couple of times, so. So that may be why I was mistaken. Ow. Gotta wait for a second there. Nope. I went the exact wrong way. Amita Station security protocols compromised. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. I have thousands of comic books. I enjoy having them. I'm kind of excited to move to my new apartment. So I'll be able to display them properly for once instead of just having them in comic boxes. Warning. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I don't mean to make anyone feel judged if you like having things around. That's the beauty of this world, is we can all do what makes us happy. I have the exact same thoughts. My whole life, all the adults around me have legitimately shamed me for passion for entertainment, especially video games, rot your brain, blah blah blah. Rot your brain, blah blah blah. I've harbored intense and rather damaging long-term shame in my head for as long as I can remember since playing Chicken Little on the PS2 and hiding my GBA play in Ultimate Spider-Man on the lowest possible volume until my tiny body and brain became too tired. Yeah, I think it'd be good to deal with that. 
um, it, you know, process that if you can. That becomes difficult, though. Huh! Welcome to Amina Elevator Station. Have a safe trip. Now you can take it down. I think, uh... I felt that way for a while, too. And uh, I think that... That feeling of being shamed for the activity can result in some pretty... pretty interesting behavior sometimes. Oh! I fell right into it. I didn't know I was on a platform. Sometimes I think like, oh, people still living that down. Ah, dang it. Can lead to some of the weirder behaviors of the gamers on the internet sometimes. I also have hundreds of comics, but it's one of the few physical medias I allow myself. Movies, games, and even music are pretty much digital. Sure books take up space, but I'm allowing myself to indulge in it. No harm. No harm done. If it doesn't negatively affect your quality of life, who cares? Warning. Catastrophic core failure imminent. Oh! It's nice to give you a little break. So I gotta jump way earlier than that. Yeah, there's... Should fairly generous timing window. These systems were placed at every elevator station so that nobody could enter Dharma City without my approval. We were expecting an uprising. I was prepared for an uprising. <laughs> ah! Damn it! Lost my rhythm. Oh, I got a, I got a checkpoint. Amazing. Uh, as morbid as it is, we probably won't stop hearing about the evils of video games until the previous generation shaming them is gone. Yeah, I think it's mostly gone now. I, I think it, it still comes up sometimes, but nobody even really cares about it anymore, do they? There's no time to waste. It'll only get harder. It's just the, the assholes who talk about it in a, a negative context are getting older and older. Meanwhile, the people who are, like, working in that industry are making more and more money, so... Nah, it's it's silly to think that that's gonna last for for any amount of time beyond this gosh I mean video gaming has become a, a goddamn Does it ever stop? cultural necessity during during quarantine the support cords are, there, good, good. Support cords are in sight. Am I? Hold on. I feel like I'm missing something here. I was missing something. They'd rather destroy all the elevators than let you up there. Warning. Okay. The bigger they are. Cool. Station security protocol compromised. It's got lasers! <laughs> <it> to last. <laughs> okay, alright. I guess I just gotta run up on it. Stab it. Yeah, nowadays people roll their eyes if, if you say video games are the devil. It's it's kind of trite. Welcome to Amita Elevator Station. Have a safe trip. I hope you know what you're doing. Hmm. Level three and raid. Let's go. Ooh, I appreciate that. I'll uh, I'll be on deck to give you, and then in an hour or two, I'll have a, uh, I'll have the game up, and I can give you all of my hot hot tips. The core is now exposed. You'll be able to shut it down. Good. And I've been saving a ton of gotcha, of a ton of character draw uh, tokens, so I can be a good streamer and do a ton of a uh, ton of character draws. People love those character draws. Can't get enough. Huh. Please leave the station in an orderly fashion. Yes. As expected, it was no match. Wow. Watching from your perspective, I nearly pissed myself. 
I'm betting being there in person was a thousand times worse. Yes. I can fool the display panels. While the keys are waiting for you at Upper Amida, I'll redirect the elevator to the maintenance floor above. As long as it gets me closer to Mara. Amida Station security protocols compromised. God, that looks cool as hell. Oh, RTX lighting looks so good. It's like aberrating. You can kind of see the rainbow effect through the, the fog. Damn. Damn. It kind of makes me wish, um, I need to check out what Red Dead 2 looks like on PC. I've never played it on PC, but and, <sighs> the lighting in that game was so phenomenal. I like to think about them adding ray tracing to that game, but mm. maybe that's asking for too much. Ghost Runner has a cyber butthole. Hell yeah. I've been up, up inside a couple of cyber buttholes already. What Ghost Runner do? He gets in that butthole. Oh shit! So this is the city. Shit! Wow. Oh, that's interesting. This does like ray trace reflections and screen space, and it kind of fades from one to the other. That's cute. Only a chosen few. And one is way higher resolution than the other. Controls the flow of resources between the city and the base. Food, water, people. Yeah, barbecue dad. All my life I've wanted to be one thing, barbecue dad. Ah. Uh, I managed to kill myself. Thought there was gonna be a secret back there. Look at that, that's a secret hole, it's gotta be. Oh, shiny. Oh. Playing Red Dead on 2 on PC right now. I put 62.6 .6 hours into it in the last two weeks, and I'm fucking having a blast. I can play through. I am somehow finding a shit ton of things. Never actually found on my first 100-hour playthrough on my base PS4. 60 FPS. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Love my 2070 Super. More than most humans, and my horse is named Paul. <laughs> what a great story. <laughs> uh, glad you're having a good time. Real wholesome gamer story right there. Oh, all right. Oh, sick. Ah, God, these colors are so good. Ah, games look like this now. Games tried so hard to look exactly like this in like 1998. They tried so hard. And the irony is way later when games have gone fully around the block stylistically. We're now back to cyber future games in rainy neon cities because Blade Runner's cool as hell. 420 viewers, nice, 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 nice. Crap, a little too late. They succeeded in 1998 and they'll succeed again now. That's right. Ah, I went into that one, that was not smart. They're classics. The classics, baby. A blue, rain-slick cityscape. Speckled with neon and dude cyber ninjas dashing around to Uncy Uns music. Oh, that was sick! I didn't know you could do that! Amada Station is crawling with keys, but it's far below you now. Good job. Oh, thank you. I was just kind of mad. I was like, bah. I just tried to, like, slash at the bullet and actually clanked it. That was sick! God, that was cool as fuck. It's like Duke Nukem 3D wanted to look, yeah. I mean, it's 3D realms, right? It, everything's kind of lined up behind it again, but it's absolutely... Well, wait a minute. Um, I mean, they have Ion Maiden, which is literally cyberpunk Duke Nukem. I gotta play that. Apparently Bombshell was like a character in the Duke Nukem-verse for a long time. They just never actually made any games with her, but they kept, like, making and, and prototyping games with Bombshell. I think, wait, she, she might have been in one of the, like, the console Dukes or something like that. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my god. It's like Star Wars Episode 2. I'm like Obi-Wan. 
Mm. Our next goal is the repository, a data archive created to store knowledge about the world before the burst. It the burst? Documentation on Project Ghost Runner. See, look, this is basically Sonic. Already Keep doing some sick rail grinds. That doesn't look very cool. Eh, that's pretty cool, I guess. All right, I'll go with that one go? for a while. What's the next step? Point me to the repository. Pro gamer okay, strat. So I played last 40 hours with just the compass, no mini map, and it makes bounty hunter Lemoyne Raider O'Driscoll Murphy brood ambushes much much harder, and IMO much more immersive. Also, GTA 5 first person was pretty useless besides some car interiors, but holy shit, first person. Red Dead 2 with mouse and keyboard is fucking dope. Can't believe I didn't do it as much on PS4, but holy shit, it's immersive as fuck. Actually super detailed compared to GTA 5. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll, uh, I didn't do much first person either. And I played through it on Xbox One, I believe. Darg, arg. All right. So yeah, I need to poke at that game on PC. See what it can do. Because GTA 5 on PC was like a, it was kind of a different experience, even from PS4 version of the game, so... Very look, looking forward to seeing what, uh, what that game can do when it's got a lot of hardware oomph behind it. I'm still, I'm still excited about that 7 remake on PC. I'm getting giddy about it. I'm getting, getting all fired up. Oh, they shoot you. Okay. Can you just dash into it, or do you have to land on top of it? Okay, you can dash into it, but then you'll immediately wreck it if you're not lined up right. Interesting. Oh, damn, it blows people up! Well, she's out of it now. You need to stop relying on her. I only rely on myself. Yeah, I'm cool. Synthes synthesity? Syntheticity. There we go. We have to synth synthetize. Playing Red Dead 2 FPS map off makes it like an RPG, basically. I am so excited to do that! Oh, man. Bombshell was playable in some version of Duke Nukem 3D. Maybe a mod, but I highly recommend Ion Fury. It's insane what they did to the build engine for that game. It's a great shooter. Yeah, I only played the first couple levels, but it was pretty obvious that, like, the design and the tech and the, the vibe were all super there. What? Why wouldn't they let me Tempest? I want Tempest. I didn't Tempest. They went boom, boom. A little brat. A little meat. A little sausage. Nothing wrong with a little meat. There we go. Is this some lore? Maybe. A shabby teddy bear. It must have been brought to the tower during the refugee's influx right before the burst. These days, families were torn apart by chaos and death every day. Kids who only lost their toys were the lucky ones. Kind of scared the modding that modding the game will potentially disable Steam achievements going for that 100% and potentially getting banned from Red Dead 2 online, which I haven't even touched since PS4 version. I don't even know if they handled mods better in RD2 versus GTA 5. Yeah, that's a good question. What kind of mods are you running? I can't. Hmm. The only mostly the mods I'm into are like the the ones that. Who was that? Yeah. The ones that sort of unlock the technical ability of the game, you know? Or like, um... Ones that add higher resolution assets for ports that are just straight from console. Who was that? I don't know! Tenant? Somebody in this building, maybe? I'm supposed to get out of here. More barbecue. I mean, I guess I can hop the fence. 
All right, that works. Where are all the civilians? Seems like there's a curfew in effect. Turns out people here are just as oppressed as the basers. amazing this game is amazing definitely worth checking out are right, my escort taxes do oh, wait hold on a minute oh uh, less than a month till they're due I've been poking at them oh dear um, honestly like a lot of a lot of business administration stuff that I've been doing lately has been focused on just getting my paperwork in order so that in 2021 I'm I'm handling all of my payments the right way um, but yeah next Next, like, boring paperwork thing to take care of is, uh, filing 2020 pa uh, taxes. The good news is, I think, um, PayPal, PayPal generates a lot of that paperwork by default. And I thought I was going to have to prepare a lot of 1099 paperwork for people, um, and file it, but nah. If you send money through PayPal, it, it tracks all it through a 1099k. Um, also, I'm not filing uh, 2020 as a corporation or an LLC. Until today, 2020, I was a sole proprietor, and that, that's a little bit easier to file. You. We thought once you awakened, you'd lead us to victory. This will be the first year I claim uh, payment, like wage payments, on my taxes, though. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah. I have, uh, I'm now officially paying myself, uh, a salary, and because of that, I'm both paying state and federal taxes when I give money to myself. Um, I mean, I would have to pay those taxes anyway, and I'm going to have to, but, um, also, yeah, that sign is some, like, big 1998 PC energy. That font. Like, military spray paint font. Also, subways in general. A cool looking subway. Eh. If you got PPP loan, you gotta keep track of that. I mean, I would. I don't have one yet. Um, unfortunately, the bank that I, I bank through um, had a sign up requirement. So they, you had to have a business account with them like before the middle of December last year. And I formed my business account like at the beginning of January. I was I was off by like a week or two, uh, so that's a bummer. So now all I can do is try to call different banks and see if any of them will let me apply for a PPP loan, um, which I I want and could use, and would use to pay people's payroll. But the the timing is is a little weird because yeah I did sort of form all of this stuff after quarantine. So I get how it could look like fraud. <laughs> it's legit to see how well you've been doing. What's your plan to defeat the keymaster? I guess I've been doing all right. Part of me wants to be like, well, you know, it's it's one thing to file all that paperwork. It's another to have like a successful business. But what is success? Who gives a shit? So many died back then. With all the ghost runners gone, there was no one to protect us. Oh, less headache on taxes. If you get a PPP loan, there's still some taxable. They're still taxable in some states. That's fine. I feel like uh, I feel like the the paperwork involved with tracking all that stuff is it's worth it for the money. Every ghost runner in Dharma was disabled. There's no such thing as free money. You were one of the lucky few on And if the price I have to pay is uh, jump like what? doing some bureaucratic paperwork, that's fine. It's like it's like filling out a rebate form. Didn't matter in the end. Uh, so yeah, based, based on my, like, based on my payroll costs, I wouldn't get a ton out of a PPP loan, which is also probably why it's, I don't know that many banks are going to be, like, just ch chomping at the bit, uh, for, uh, an admittedly kind of small-time business guy like me. But, at the same time, it would, uh, it's money that would go into, go into people's pop pockets for doing work. It's money that would help my business grow. 
That's supposed to be the whole point, right? So I was like, yeah. For the first time in my life, I felt like... Like, wow, I'm one of those guys. That's me. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see if... I don't know if there's any lender that's going to be willing to, like... Uh, to to work with it or do the application... Because you... I thought you could apply directly to the federal government, but no, you have to go through a lender, so... I was... I, I like, had the form uh, to apply for a PPP loan, and I thought all I had to do was fill it out and send it to the government. That's how a lot of a lot of forms tend to work. But, uh, no, once I actually got down and really read the, the print on it, it was like, this is just a sample form for you to ha get some anticipation of the money you might... or a loan you might be qualified for. Shit. Oh. Like, you have to talk to your local lender. All right. Oh. So, back to my question. I was a little dirty. It's not that I doubt you, but are you sure you can take on the Keymaster by yourself? No. Oh, that's that's cool as hell. Dang it. She killed 99 ghost runners. That's so good. Stop until she kills me too. So you won't stop either until one of you is dead. Yes. I know how you feel. I've had a few clients so far that the PPP loan definitely kept their small business afloat in 2020. Yeah, it's um you know, there there's some people I think justifiably on social media or whatever that are very upset with the federal response to covid and i agree it's been it's been bad but it hasn't like there's there have been programs and they have helped that said i think there's still plenty 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 of room for improvement you getting motion sick yeah the uh the camera pitch can be a little a little intense hopefully it's not too bad damn it all the stimulus and government loan stuff has been off the cuff. You can tell what things pass without real foresight on how the logistics work. I mean, yeah, it's it seems like it's it's been very, very hasty. Uh, minimum interest or effort put into like administering the programs properly. It's it's very like there I did something kind of energy, but you know, in the process of doing something, some some useful money did seem to find its way into the people who actually needed it. So, fuck. Hmm. I just hope that I'm one of those people. I'm kind of at the, I think I'm at the point where I have to basically like just get on the phone and start calling random banks, which is going to take forever. That means I'm going to have to be on hold with like banks for just hours and hours and hours. And that's when it starts to not quite so much be worth it. Wow. My comic shop went under. My rock climbing gym was able to sustain itself for a bit, but still had to lay people off when nothing extra came out. Ah, uh, well. Hopefully, hopefully uh, stay-at-home orders are starting to relax and... People are getting needles in their arms, and it's starting to be safer. Let's hope. Rage virus, thanks for the prime. Decades of my hard work and careful planning derailed. Is it like one day of shitty long phone calls, or is it days and days of shitty long phone calls? I don't know. That's the that's the problem. You never know. I just have to call and see. Um, see if I can find a bank that doesn't have as, as stringent a, a requirement on when the account was opened. Um, so yeah, it's possible that I call five banks. Each one puts me on hold for an hour or an hour and a half. And I spend the entire day listening to shitty uh, on hold music for no reason at all. You know, it's... it's hey, that's, that's, that's life. You gotta just take the risk. Uh, for real, it is good. It's just that everyone actually responsible for the processes have no direction. Yeah. At least then you know, I guess. 
I could also just give up on it now and save it save a day maybe um then I still know I'm not getting it ooh ninja sha sha that's cool okay so you have to parry those guys I thought I was the only cyber ninja no I'm not there are other cyber ninjas and they're almost as cool as me Ooh. Awesome. The primary main friend. The camera punch in when you get that parry is really, really cool. Yeah. Shit! How did I mess that up? Oh. Of course, they say some cool ass Japanese shit to you before we have a nice katana fight. Calling banks sometimes is worse than the calling the IRS. Yeah, of course. It's it's awful. The last thing a bank wants to do is like waste time talking to you. They invest. It's obvious they invest so so few resources into uh, into customer customer service. Now, as like as a business account owner, it can be a little bit different. Um, but you know, I'm I'm still kind of small potatoes, I think. And I'm gonna be definitely small potatoes to like invest or lending firms, I think. I don't. I think uh, a PPP loan I would get would be maybe uh, like ten thousand dollars on the on the top top end probably I keep putting and I don't know that that amount of money is gonna make somebody want to work with me specifically especially if there's like anything weird about my situation no and in my case yeah my account to do, we'll do. oh it's still a little fresh Rebuild the rebellion from the ground up if we have to. so whatever but you're right I should do it I have a, I have a day set aside for business shit um, it's my Mondays actually it's my my day off um, but I don't want to also spend you know the only true day off I have for myself in a week. You know, sitting on sitting on a hold. Oh Mike, I'm glad you liked the uh the Neo 2 edit. I thought it was really good too. Man. The editors I'm working with have just been getting better and better and better. I've uh I've been I, I leaned on the notes just a teensy bit more and everybody has like totally responded in kind to it. It's been great. I'm glad you like that. Yeah. My highlight my highlight videos are just they're just straight up, straight up pretty wretched uh, in terms of performance. I don't know what's going on with YouTube these days, but it's not kind. <laughs> I I have an idea though. I think I think I I yeah, I published too many um, too many cyberpunk highlights that I don't think people were just interested in seeing. I don't think the um, I don't think I uh, was was diligent enough on on the. Uh, individual quality of those videos. Dang it. Hmm. So I think, I think, uh, I had people sub feeds a lot and they didn't click on those videos. And then now, now I have to crawl back out, but that's fine. Oh, got to earn it back with quality, quality videos. Earn people's trust back. Dang it. I'm getting distracted. I don't know, YouTube is- YouTube's rough. YouTube's rough these days. It's extremely- it's extremely not worth it. All the, uh, all the- all the viewership is just kind of sucked up by other things. So, you know, we'll- We'll see how Inside Games goes in the long run, but... Also, it's, it feels like ad rates have just gone through the- absolutely through the floor on YouTube. It's just like, less and less money every day. Ah. What did you think of the Overwatch 2 details of BlizzCon? I didn't really look at them. I'm I'm kind of checked out of Overwatch, and I was I was super unimpressed with what they showed of Overwatch 2 before. They say it's better now, but at the same time I'm like, well, you should have waited until you had something to show. So, I don't know. I feel like their first reveal was pretty lame, so I feel justified in not paying a ton of attention to it now, but everyone says that it is more 
there, you can kind of tell what's what's going on there a little more. There's a little more heat on it. It looks it looks more like a kind of easy to tell more what's happening. What kind of game they want it to be. So I'll check it out. You keep displaying aberrant behavior. To be honest, I didn't watch all the cyberpunk highlights. I watched a few of the first ones. I do like the shorter 10 minute long videos. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, there were too many and too short of a period. I don't think they were they were good enough for people to see another one and want to keep watching it. So I kind of burned it out, I think. Um, but that's fine. Just gotta... Gotta keep pleasantly surprising people with the quality of the videos when they choose to watch them again. And I, I suck them back in. That's the idea. And so games is always good seeing y'all getting into games journalism. Yeah, it's been fun. I've really, really liked it. Hmm. Gotta... Gotta put on some cyber lights, too. Oh, you were watching the, the VODs? Dang. Yeah, those are, those are long, huh? The full cyberpunk experience. Nope. That's the wrong room. Hopefully Stephanie's not confused. Why cyber lights just exploded in the living room. Come on. There. This phone is not good. Ha. <laughs> Mr. Hell's Bells, hello! Hello from the United States! Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah. What are the big red dots? It's so quiet here. You said there's a curfew. Yes, but it's more than that. At the base, even indoors, even after lights out, you can still hear the heavy machinery. Factory engines, air turbines, mining drills. They never stop. There's none of that here. Oh, you weren't watching it to avoid spoilers? That makes total sense, too. Yeah, I... Hmm. That's an interesting dynamic. That, that makes I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't do that I definitely wouldn't be watching uh gameplay videos of cyberpunk before I played it myself so I get it Call the guard! dang it Oh, what the... I didn't even see what that was. Oh, I guess I guess it was you. Shh, blort. God, that's so good. All the enemies are like pressurized meat bags. Like a water balloon of guts that you pop. Hmm. Where's this hot troph? Oh, it's probably up there. Yeah, all right. Dip, 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 dip. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. There we are. Oh. Shoom. Ooh. Cybery sword. Any advice to someone going through a gaming rut? It seems to be that no matter what I play, I can't either get into it or I put it down and never come back to it. Do something else. I understand, like, if you have memories of how fun video games were and you can't seem to find that magic anymore. You don't talk much, huh? There's a tendency to want to, like, chase it down or try to find it, but. I think you gotta wait for it to come back sometimes. Get some, get some distance. Do something else. Now, that doesn't mean anything in quarantine. Um, oh, 
we got another another barbecue on the block. Dad versus Fat Rat. I uh Oh, I think a bigger problem is when you like video games are all you have and they're no longer fun. Uh, that's uh Shit. Ah, uh, what difficulty are you playing on? Uh, is there a difficulty selection? I thought the game was just the game, but I could be wrong. There was a hardcore setting after you uh, beat the game. Yeah, I didn't think I uh, had unlocked anything special. You should see a ther. I would see a therapist. Yeah, if you get to the point where you can't find enjoyment in anything, um, based on how severe it is or some other factors, that might that might shape up into uh, a friendly little thing called acute depression. But. Version 11 doesn't work. I'm either. not a psychiatrist, so I'm not gonna. Spouted nonsense I'm not gonna diagnose that on the internet. Itself. A step up from the previous iterations, to be sure. Number 10 committed suicide immediately. QD depression, yeah. Six through nine you have a terminal case of being adorable. Before I had to shut them down. What's actually open in LA? Well, they humility. they have ended the uh, so stay at home order. Mara has some concerns. So I think uh, restaurants are back to doing outdoor dining. At least the ghost Things like um, is nearing completion. If like barber shops and stuff uh, are opening. We'll manage what we have. Um, I got my hair cut at a barber a barber shop, but it was just like one person in there at a time kind of thing. Wait outside with a mask on until they they ask you in. So there's there's still pretty heavy restrictions, but the uh, the essentials are starting to to do business again. Even if it's just, it's not really like, it's not sustainable business, but it's at least something, like getting some money flowing again. That's good, our driveway is dry enough to go refill clean ju water jugs now. Still can't wash myself normally though. Ha ha, ha ha, the dystopia is crazy, isn't it? We're talking about how happy we are that, <laughs> that barber shops are open and that we have clean, or we can go get clean water now. Uh, why didn't you grow out your hair? To... Sir, you must you must but look at me in the last year to see my hair grown out. I did. I buzzed the, I kept buzzing the sides just to keep it somewhat civilized, but yeah, no, my hair got pretty long. I just I don't it got to the point where it wasn't quite a good look, and yeah, it was like in it was in man bun territory, and I didn't know that I wanted to go all... Go full bun. Yosh. Shit. Pretty generous timing on that, actually. These are not soldiers or security. They're just bandits. Although better armed than the ones from before. But yeah, it was, it was just getting so annoying. Every time I tried to cook or eat or work on something, like anything that involved looking like less than straight ahead, hair would just go woof, like right into my eyes and my face. Um, it got really frustrating. So yeah, I started, I have like a knit cap, like a beanie that I would put on just to kind of be a hairnet whenever I was cooking or, or like trying to fix something. Okay, phew. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Huh. Huh. No! Jesus Christ. But yeah, it was definitely in the point where I could start pulling it into a top knot if I really wanted to, but I didn't want to. I think that, that look is not for me. Maybe if I were like... 40 pounds lighter, which I'm on my way to. I'm down about what? Oh, there's a gun. Right. Okay. 
I'm down about 10 pounds from January, which is all right. Got like 30 more to go though. Oops, he slashed me. Top not as perfect for cyberpunk. You're right. Jackie Wells out here. Best top knot in the biz. We heard that during the architect's reign, it was possible to move up here from the base. That there was a special exam to earn it. I wonder if I'd made the grade as an engineer. Definitely. Judging from the job she did repairing you, not in a hundred years. Why you gotta be sassy like that? I don't even know what killed me. That was intentional, but I did it! Dang it. Alright, well. What's the intended way to. No, there's. I mean, there's boxes here. Yeah, surely this is what they intend for you to do. Oh, you gotta run. That's probably what it is. There we go. Wow. Oh, shit. It's like, how did I dance between those bullets? I was not supposed to be able to do that. Ball. Oh, that's cool. Not a ruiner reference. Cyberpunk games gotta stick together. That's another cool game that I never actually finished. Ruiner is so good. Should have gotten. Should have done the Ronin hairstyle. Yeah, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. You know, real life isn't gonna be li like this in the future, right? What do you mean? I don't know what part you're you're accusing of being inaccurate, but it looks like it's pretty buttoned up to me. I'm something of an expert on society that we live in, so I think I have an idea of what's what's gonna happen. All right, I'm what you'd call a keen observer of the human condition. Damn it! I keep falling off that at a weird angle. I expect to float a little bit, but instead I just kind of drop like a rock and I keep missing the rail. What do you think is going to happen to our society? It's going to be nothing but anime. Cat boys everywhere. Cat boys with cyber swords. There we go. Damn it. Damn ass. Yeah, everyone will be a v VTuber. Society will be VTubers and then all of the all of the working classes that work to support VTubers. Jeez. Super stoked for when cybernetic implants become a thing. I mean, they... They promise to do a lot. I think people are gonna have to, like... I don't know. People have... Have found... Have found... Shocking levels of tolerance for uh, giving away everything about themselves to corporations, so there's no reason to expect people won't do that with implants, too, and be totally fine with it. Shit. What? Alright. Damn. Why did you program me not to use guns? 
Gama is full of technology that is all too vulnerable to accidental destruction. With a blade, there are no straight bullets, no shockwaves, no collateral damage. Not to mention how crude those guns are compared to your tools. You are fully equipped to deal with every manner of projectile. You've never been in a fight. Of course not. How uncivilized. Hmm. Okay. That's neat. New lore! The Atma Chip. A simple brain implant used by almost every resident of the tower. They serve to establish connections between the user's neural cortex and various electronic devices, like bion bionic limbs, computers, or even heavy machinery. Can't wait to drive a forklift with your brain. Worth of research and no technological progress to speak up. At this rate, tomorrow's regime will fall to rebels in a decade or two. Ones armed with sticks and stones. We have cyber ninjas. There's some activity near the repository. I can't tell what's going on, but there's a disturbance in the network. What kind of disturbance? There's a field of interference moving through the district. Surveillance systems are going haywire. Some kind of weapon? More like a jamming device. But why would the keys blind their own cameras? You're almost at the repository. I wonder what it was like to live in the old world. I've heard stories, but I don't know what's true and what isn't. No one does. I mean, how could they? My grandparents were still kids when the gates closed. No human has been outside since. Sounds tough. This game was so hard for you. Don't have the reflex time for it. Too pro gamer for you. I understand. It is, uh, it is a game where you have to be okay with dying a lot and then also yeah really develop some muscle memory and rhythm um with the game and yeah some people just aren't wired for that which is a bit of a shame it'd be cool if games like this had a uh is moving away, whatever it was. yeah i don't know what i'm doing the good news is the repository games like this did have some kind of mode that it's now guarded Either really stretched out the timing windows or just made it wait it made it way more approachable for people like that. I hate the true gamer comparisons. I do too. They're not like it it implies that there's a right and a wrong way to play a game or that um or that admitting that a game is is maybe maybe not beyond you um but not suited to your demeanor, I think is how I'd phrase it. There's um, I've, I've rambled a, a lot about this, so I I won't, I won't do the ow the full uh, I'm rambling essay, but agog, there's um there's this sentiment with like game or with uh TV and books and things like that that if if something's sufficiently good that everyone should try to try to experience it, a TV show. Uh, the you know the most classic TV shows are appealing to everyone regardless of of their life situation or their ah. ooh pretty or their uh, necessarily what they're looking for um, and it's it's so tempting to take that same rationale and apply it to, to video games that Ghost Runner is a good game therefore. Everyone who enjoys games should be able to enjoy it, but uh, I don't think enough When talking about it or thinking about it It's possible that a game can preclude somebody from enjoying it for reasons other than its quality or even um, 
a mismatch of taste. Like if somebody... It's possible that somebody could love cyberpunk things, love cyber ninja games, and still not like Ghost Runner because they just don't, yeah, they just don't have the fingers for it. Um, which I, th yeah, I think uh, is addressed a lot in conversations about accessibility with gaming, which I think pushes back on this notion that um, being able to hit buttons quickly is like a core and required skill for being able to enjoy games. Or that the people who are better at games are like, understand and appreciate the form, the uh, the entertainment form more completely and more validly than people who either choose not to even attempt those kinds of challenges or people who uh, don't find them enjoyable or are physically incapable. And that's, that's some bullshit. That's some, uh, that's some bad things. Oh, Firefly, you're at level five. Thank you. About halfway there. Halfway there to making Jonathan Q. Raid Paying, paying me a fat check. God damn, mantling is so bad. No! Blarg. I agree, that's why some games are considered a spectator sport. For me, it's Dota 2. I love watching, but I can't play it to save my life. Yeah. I think that's, that's super fine. I'm... I think that that exemplifies perfectly this when people, I think old people especially, like try to make false equivalence between um, esports and physical sports, and traditional sports. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think I'm doing this right. I feel like I'm not supposed to be turning around. I think, uh, I think what it is, though, so I guess the, <sighs> the way to, the way to compare it then is, like, even if there's a really good piece of, uh, of media, um, something like classic TV, classic cinema, your, uh, your experience with it is obviously going to be different if you have a disability, like, if you can't hear or you can't see. And that's kind of what gaming or or doing challenge or or dexterity related why does that guy keeps it's in such a fucking weird area i can't figure out how to get him in a in a way that flows in any kind of way maybe i'm supposed to come this way man ah oh, pheasant thank you yes today's stream is sponsored by uh, aid which i'll be sw swapping to shortly Always been iffy of trying to take something like games that's mostly non-competitive and trying to turn it into something naturally competitive like sports. Oh, it only makes sense. People are competitive about everything. Okay. I'm gonna fuck this up. <sighs> did you really have to stick on that wall? Yeah, you did. Alright. So level 10, get that bag. Thank you very much. You have... You have swelled the bag. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. Each person that gets to level 10 is is a flat amount of money that gets paid to me. So, <laughs> I never thought that a <sighs> sales deal would be that literal. Just, and and clearly it speaks it speaks to the marketing tactic of the game, which is essentially like we're confident in the stickiness of these systems that if we can get people to play this long, we're confident that we'll net a whale here or there. So, if there are any whales in chat, Raid would love to have you. I felt really good. Really? Hey, what's up? What's up, Pop-Tart? Welcome. How are you doing, by the way? I feel like I haven't... 
Have you fully recovered from your uh, your operations? I feel like the months have come and gone. I haven't really checked in on your on your your physical health in a while. The current game is Pokemon Go, so I'm wailing for them. Everybody got to wail for somebody. Oh, new ability that I will completely forget about. Oh god, I wonder if you can. God, I completely forgot. Can you use Tempest to reflect? This, um. To protect a public archive. Can you use Tempest to reflect power. sniper shots? And the information we're after was anything but public. Because that would be delightful. The GR project started out as a military contract. And ended up being our most ambitious on Hey, what's up, Jess? Oh. 60 month resub! That's five years. Good gosh. Been around. Been around for a minute. Always good to have you around, though. Woo! That reminds me, I I think, hmm, yes, the next show I'm going to start is, is Gintama, I think. Oh, your recommendations have been on, on point. Oh, you got a boob gift? For real? Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Oh, this is like a Super Mario Sunshine, like, platforming sequence. Is Gintama on, uh, Netflix? Or Crunchyroll? Oh, Dang it, there's one... Hi. There's one that I still missed way back. There you are. This is my least favorite part. I can see why. People, people by and large, don't, don't like platforming these days. No! Ah, oh, it's back again. Damn it. I can't tell... I don't know when this thing checkpoints. Oh, it's on Crunchyroll? Perfect. Okay. Thank you for cons the concern. Just saw the surgeon a few days ago. I still have the suture that is healing. Eight more weeks of personal no activity and no strenuous activity. However, I am allowed to work. I have a new surgery on Wednesday to put in a metaport for IVs into my chest. I guess... What's the, uh... Well, if you don't want to talk about it, um, feel free. I don't want you to dwell on things that might be just uncomfortable for you, but what's the point of something like that? Are you going to... Are they anticipating having to plug you up a lot in the near future? And yeah, Jess, I agree. This game is, is very aesthetically pleasing. This is in one of the, like... I wouldn't call it drab, but maybe more visually simple areas. Mara took part in the design process. I told you, we were associates. Oh, fuck. Ah. Crap. Strange. Hm. It's gone. The data's not there. But the servers... No, 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 no. Impossible. Oh. Unless that interference from earlier was... Oh, fuck! After it. Mm. God! This checkpoint is the worst. I have to go back and then forward? Uh, why did I do it? This is an accident. Hitting that checkpoint when it did, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall again. Hey! Damn it. Oh, exact thing happened to you? Yeah, it's it's pretty easy to just want to barrel forward when you first see this thing and you're just like, ugh. Fine, I'll just move forward and try and get through it. The data. Think of the data. The data crystal. Why aren't there data crystals in this game? Uh, 
okay. Nah. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Uh, don't mind talking about it. I've had Crohn's and anemia for over 13 years. I get an IV that takes three or four hours every six weeks to keep me in remission. Also, tons of blood work within a year. It's getting harder to poke my veins and they don't want to hurt me. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear it's all, uh, driving towards a more complete treatment. Your regular Johnny Pneumatic. <laughs> and you watch Scissor 7. No. What is that? What is that? I started watching Keep Your Hands Off Echinuma. Oh boy, I hope I'm... Rem remembering the name right. I'm probably not. Oh man, Cyber Crucifix. Oh, you can rotate them? Oh no, I did not know you could do that. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord almighty, I had no idea. That is such a dumb thing to not know you could do. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Deflecting projectiles charges focus meter. This upgrade system becomes very intimidating. Trying to like fill that brick. Fill it with every possible upgrade node. <gasps> oh no, she's hot. Oh no. Oh no, she's hot and she wants to kill me. We need that data. If you wanted to stab me a little, you could. Can you track it? I can track the wave of interference that moves through the district. Is that enough? I'm going after it. Why? What is it? I don't know. What did we what did we have in mind there? Oh, okay. I just got raided. I did! Bruce, thank you for the raid! Hey. Hey, that's pretty appropriate. Because we are unironically, yes, really, going to be switching to a sponsored segment for Raid Shadow Legends in just a second here, but. Mara ruined a flawless design. Y'all interested in some raid? <laughs> the hottest, hottest video game on the internet? Everyone's buzzing about it. I've actually been playing it a lot, though. I don't I don't half ass anything, even even sponsored gameplays, so what's raid? Good question. Uh raid is a game that has a mil like it it's sponsored a ton of content creators, so it's kind of a meme to joke about raid sponsorships, but they're throwing money at me, so whatever. I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing that cash. It's gotta fund the, the Law Dog Media Empire. Um It is a like fourth dimensional JRPG. One of those where there's like a million characters and the game's all about leveling up your party. And like finding the right combination of, of like, character types and abilities to get through particular boss fights that have specific mechanics to sort of like incentivize certain team mixes and a, what's a mobile game? Well, see, a mobile game is like a game, but it's on your tiny phone. Is that the chat to meme only? <laughs> I'm okay with that. I can accept meme only chat. All this time, of course. How else do you think we've avoided fighting Mara's entire army all at once? Oh. Uh, I got a I got a new li lizard man from my group, so I'm excited to to level up lizard man. I might beat the campaign on hard, so then I can start getting five star pieces of gear. I think it's just a dumb little thing to see numbers go up. So not a real game. No, there's a real game to it. It's just not where you would think. Um, if that makes any sense. The real game is in sort of dissecting the, uh, wait, what? I expected that. Oh, okay. The real game is in, like, dissecting the, like, turn-by-turn -turn of a very difficult boss fight. And, like, figuring out how to juggle equipment and items to turn a loss into a win. This radio will reach the core before you can intercept by getting your build right and using uh, using skills at the right time in the right order, in the right ways. Learning how the AI works is a big part of it. Learning what the AI tends to do and planning around it to maximize your, like, maximize the 
and one is just around the turns of like attack buffs, maximizing defense buffs. Just hop on. The train oh. should be empty. Cyber train. Shoo. That was sick. Oh, now I'm on a cyber train. It isn't. No way. He got me. He nothing personnel kitted me. It's like the start of Fallen Order. <laughs> Stupid. I think you can probably parry all of this if you get the timing right. If the bolts don't go through a dead guy. What? Why wouldn't it let me slash? Ugh, that was weird. I was clicking like a lot and it wasn't coming out. Why that took so long? <laughs> Pretty simple fight. So I'm chasing another ghost runner. You're chasing a cheap knockoff. You're chasing a cheap knockoff. A simple machine. Oh. Access card. Always with the lore. Wait, what was that? Can I like customize my wrist? My cyber my cyber hand? I was supposed to go over there! Wait, you haven't seen JoJo, Jess? Hmm, I think you would like it. It's definitely got that Oh, that was a that was a duck. It's got a it's got a pretty amazing sense of humor about it. Just about dudes being dudes. That's okay. I haven't finished all of JoJo either, so I, I really have no room to talk. I've been getting the wicked urge to watch Nichijo again, though. Is there is there any streaming service that that show is on? I feel like it. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, it's not it's not licensed anywhere. I have a uh, I have a secret stash, so I've got access to it. I'm just kind of surprised. Oh, is, is it Funimation? Hmm. We won't stand a chance. Keep saying that. Funny stole it back from Crunchyroll. Funimation has, do they, they still operate their own, um, direct VOD service, right? I didn't see the middle part. Womp womp. That is a fun sound though. Bonk! Yeah, bunk. They did a follow up. Duh. They did a follow up to um. Wait, hold on. Oh, great. Because dot moe lets you look up where to watch shows in your country gives direct links too. That's perfect. I'm clicking on that. I've been waiting for that. Typically, what I just I have to just like Google the name of the show and then run down every link until I can find a service that actually streams it. Um, that's a that's a pretty great website. Ow. Part three is weird with the amount of child nudity. Yeah, I got to that part. That's a little weird. I don't know. There's a lot in JoJo's that's weird. 
it's in the title, but no, I I understand how like in anime you gotta the alarms go up a little earlier when it comes to that sort of thing. Oh, I didn't know they had AoE when they land. Makes sense. Damn it. check the next level but it's about time to switch over I'm just gonna see what it I'm just gonna see what it starts I'm gonna see where it starts oh yeah just still on the train maybe something cool happens when I work out here maybe that sexy ninja comes and steps on me that's your stop I'd like to see it <gasps> Se sexy ninja fight uh oh. Switch components not found. Mission to engage. Granted. Engaging. Yeah. Dead. Okay. Damn it. Oh wow, you have to do the whole thing? It seems some technological progress has been made. Oh, she didn't go to the same spot. Of course not, why would she? Alright. Anyway, uh, it's it's time to move on. Throw that there um, to to the sponsored portion of the stream, which I will I will fittingly update my uh, my transitions thusly. Um, actually, wait, hold on a minute. Yeah, I will. Uh, so, uh, quick break time. Let me get up, use the restroom, then come back, and then it's raid time, which honestly just means we're gonna chat, you and I. We're all gonna have some nice, intimate conversations because, you know, raid is like. It's a game, but it's it's a background game. It's a clicker. It's a you know, it's just number get big. So while number get big, we can have some we can have some chats. Money time. Exactly. I, exactly. It's, it's time for money. All right. I'll see you guys in a sec. Be right back. <laughs> 